Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trent from GTM Fitness. I just smashed my workout earlier. And in this workout, I did three main exercises. The first being weighted dips, the second being the hammer strength incline press, and the third being upright rows. And you might be asking why only three exercises? Well, weighted dips take a lot out of me. I actually just hit 125 pounds for six reps and then two more sets after that with 95 and then 70 pounds. I was shot after that. So I didn't want any other exercises interfering with my progress I've been making on weighted dips. Um, Cause I actually hit a plateau on incline bench. I started at five reps and then slowly with adding weight as well, I dropped down to four reps and then I finally hit 220 pounds, but only for three reps. And I didn't want to further that, you know, plateau or, you know, grind out any reps because, you know, I'll just be spinning my wheels. So I was like, hey, why not like switch to something else to, you know, give me a fresh stimulus and that being weighted dips. And so far the progress has been great. I started, I think not last week, but the week before and uh, at 115 pounds and I've been adding five pounds every workout. So like this one on the video, 125 pounds, and they've been going up greatly. Um, I can taste 135 pounds. So without further ado, let's move on to the three sets of yeah. dips. Yeah, right. I'm going. There you have it. Those were the three sets, 125 pounds for six reps, 95 pounds for eight reps and 70 pounds for 10 reps. And uh, after that, I was shot. <laughs> like I was completely fatigued. And uh, that's the luxury of just hopping onto one of those hammer strength machines or some other machines too. Um, but if you, your gym does have access to machines like that, definitely take advantage because it's always nice to get that extra work in whenever your central nervous system's tired and uh, all that stuff. And on top of that, that machine really works my upper chest nicely. Um, so it's nice to get that in while weighted dips are just blowing up my lower chest. Um, so with that said, let's move on to the two sets of incline hammer press machine. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Your eyes are not lying to you. I did fail on that first set because I think I added an extra five or 10 pounds. But like I said, weighted dips take so much out of me. Um, but it's still nice to hop on that machine. Uh, and then um, I only did two sets for like I said, because I didn't want to add too much or just, you know, have any overkill that just takes away from that progression from weighted dips because I wanted to switch back to incline press so bad. But you know, I got to stick with it because I'm making great progress. That's how you need to be consistent in your workouts. That's how you see great progress. So I'm going to stick with weighted dips for the next several weeks and try adding as much weight as I can. And then hoping that pressing strength transfers over to incline bench. And I'll definitely get a video up because I don't have any incline bench or flat bench videos. Uh, 
mainly because it's hard to find someone to film it and then spot me at the same time. But uh, I'll definitely work around that for you guys. I can't wait to get that up. Um, so now let's go into the third exercise of the barbell upright rows. And I'm using rest pause training in that too. So I actually film my activation set followed by my four mini sets with only 10 to 15 seconds rest in between. So let's head over right to those. <laughs> That. that was the 70 pound fixed barbell and uh, sometimes upright rows kind of hurt my wrists or elbows um, but they've been going pretty smoothly so I'm going to stick as long as I can with those but if I start experiencing like any pain in my wrists I'm probably going to switch out for something else maybe I'll go back to lateral raises or maybe Cuban presses or something like that but um, that's that was rest pause training like I said and I did my first activation set of 14 reps and then I only rested like 15 seconds and then I did four more mini sets of four reps and only resting another 15 seconds in between all those mini sets that's a very effective protocol um try it out if you haven't already after my my shoulders were just blowing up it was fantastic um so other than that guys well <laughs> I'm jumping the gun already and yes after um, my upright rows, I did some two sets of hanging leg raises of 10 reps, and I did some seated calf raises. And uh, those are great. I actually, for my calves, they've been responding, my skinny, skinny calves. But uh, so I got to keep my training up with those, like a very strict regimen, because I'm actually starting to see some progress. And I've been lifting pretty heavy in between like the four and six rep range and the six to eight rep range. Um, my logic on that was maybe like I'm walking around all day, you know, so it's kind of like higher reps. So, hey, let's just go heavy and a uh, little bit lower reps and um, they've been responding pretty nice. So definitely try that out and let me know how that works for you um, as well. Comment below. Let me know how you like this workout. And you can always ask me any questions below in the comments or shoot me an email at gtmfitness at, g <laughs> at gmail.com and uh, I'll be happy to assist you. Um, other than that, if you're not on the GTM Fitness newsletter yet, you haven't been reading your free ebooks, definitely check them out if you need help uh, tracking your calories and eating more food to actually gain some muscle. Um, or even mistakes, you don't want to be making mistakes either, right? I got the 17 skinny guy mistakes you don't know you're making, and stop calling yourself an ectomorph to put you in the right mindset to all this eating, lifting crap so you can actually build the body that you want. So anyway, guys, until next time, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up for those funny uh, girls in the training videos and all that stuff. They're my friends and all that. It's a good time. But um, I hope that made you laugh. So until next time, I'll talk to you soon.